we'll handle this async and you start typing something it's like <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, space bar. Oh, I'll take that huge word that I couldn't spell anyway, but I'll just let Google <laughs> handle the spelling and the placing and the period, and then I'll press send. Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready, and let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. Sir. And you were listening to the Chip and CERN show. Yes, once again, or for the very first time. Yes, yes, yes. Here we are. And I mean, I would say, Cerny, this is the most wonderful time of the year because it is playoff baseball. You got playoff baseball. You got football, too. Yes. Woo. My Rams are doing good, which makes it even better. I'm not a sad fan. Like the Niners. Like the Niners fans. <laughs> or, or, now, I. You know, we've taken it easy on on our friends, Joe and Dana in the Niners in the group chat. I don't know why, because particularly I I don't I don't find that they. uh, It's not like they're like, oh, thanks for taking it easy on me because the team was sucking. You know, let's stand down. Let's let's have let's have a stand down. (laughs) You know, we should be we should be punching them when they're down a little bit. I think the Ox are down there with them. So I'm thinking I'm the only one that could punch right now. Okay. Well, that's fine because my fandom, I'll flip flop. I'll go back to the. Oh, that's right. You go yeah, Ramley. I'll go Ramley. <laughs> It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. Uh, <laughs> Rams are six and one. It's a st- stellar start. And they have Very a strong uh, start. The game against the Texans this weekend. Okay. Seems Texans to be. suck. Okay. And their owner is in some hot water oh. again. Was he? Uh, I think and, I think uh, he was at a golf tournament. I can't remember too much of it. He was at a golf tournament and referred to the coronavirus as the China flu or something like that. Uh, you, know, you know, he's in a little bit of a little bit of a pickle. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty oh, racist. He well, I, and he's been in the past. I think well, he's in Texas, so I mean, <laughs> strike one. I'm already a profile on you. If you're if you're a CEO <laughs> for, in Texas, I'm going to profile oh, you. Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, what's his, uh, Claire McNair. Yeah. He issued an apology. Uh, the apology has been issued, Cerny. Did you, <laughs> did this come across your, your wire? No. The Cerny no, news wire? Okay. No. Uh, he used an anti-Asian slur at a golf event. Let's see what this, oh, the Asian slur is quoted in text. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Quote. I'm sorry that we couldn't get together last year because of the China virus. All right, that's what it was. <sighs> wow. That's, um, and they said everyone gasped, especially the people directly across from him. I played some of them from, from Beijing or something like that. Oh, boy. That, um, I don't understand. I mean that's some Trump shit right there. So you obviously know he's that's a, he's a Trump person, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. He's a billionaire from Texas, owns a football team. I'm sure. Yeah, he's yeah. one of those. I just don't understand when you see, especially like those old guys that just open their yaps and say something stupid like that. Mm-hmm. Especially when there's like maybe there's people from China in the room. Or it doesn't matter. Just saying it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, I was, I mean <laughs> yeah. whatever. It doesn't matter if there's somebody there or not. Just saying it. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. And then be like, what? Oh, wasn't okay? It's like, do you, they just say shit with impunity and it's like. Well, there's no repercussions ever. I mean, uh, I mean, in reality, yeah. there's, there's not. He'll say sorry and people will boo his ass and. You know, he'll be a fucking demon for about a month, maybe two weeks, and then he'll go back to making billions of being dollars. a billionaire and yeah. doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. And if that's the stuff that rolls off his tongue with, with regularity, that, you know, when hey, you crowd, in a room, crowd full I of know, a crowd full of people, <laughs> it's not like someone recorded him, you know, a secret phone conversation in his fucking bathroom. Right. Like uh, the Clippers, um, <laughs> Donald Sterling, Donald Sterling. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like that type of situation, but you know, that shit's happening. Hell's uh, girlfriend too, right? Uh, yeah, I you know that shit's happening. 
at that guy's house too. I mean, if you're saying China virus, just at a, basically a presser at a press conference and in between your closed doors, it's got to be way worse than that. Way, way worse. Well, you know, him, he, him and John Gruden got to be, uh, Oh yeah. He's, he's probably looking to hire John Gruden. He's in his top eight on my space. I think John Gruden is probably <laughs> next uh, talent scout. Todd Gruden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a media specialist. I mean, <laughs> A PR coach, PR coach. Do you remember when you were, um, I remember when I first started cursing in middle school and then there was always, once you learned the curse words, then you sort of had to like put up that kind of filter or you tried your best. You tried your damnedest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was, you know, school was a place that you knew you probably couldn't get away with cursing out loud. This is on the, yeah, this is on the yard. Yeah. 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 On the yard. (laughs) <laughs> exactly a uh, grandma's house oh yeah that's, and that's that's a no-fly zone there um and then you know especially around my parents for sure yeah see now my your, your parents seem to be the yeah my know, mom's not a fan yeah. but my dad is, is open it's open game now yeah so at, 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 at least at this point in, in my life i think it's my grandma's house probably the only zone is off limits obviously work and also depends on who you're talking to at work. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm if, not writing it out in email. Just so like, no, <laughs> I'm not, not going to go John Gruden. <laughs> no, yeah, I do like. Uh, do you have? Well, you if Gmail has like basically autocomplete for mm. sentences now. Yeah, it's it's very convenient when you're like, oh, this is and it knows all the the like current lingo. <laughs> it's like, oh, we'll 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 handle this async and you start typing something. It's like, you're like, Oh yeah. Space bar. Oh, I'll take that's huge word that I couldn't spell anyway, but I'll just like Google handle the spelling and the placing and the period. And then I'll press send. Um, I always so. feel like a, like a, like a POS though. When I type a word out, cause my spelling is, is questionable and it just, it just can't fix it. Doesn't know like what the hell are you trying to say here? I know <laughs> like, it's like, yeah. uh, and then I have to go to Google and I type Google's better about correcting <laughs> yeah, my spelling yeah. than than like In Microsoft. Mic- yeah, Microsoft or whatever. <clears throat> I've noticed that for sure. Oh, well, Cerny, we survived a what atmospheric river? What was it? Yeah, atmospheric river slash uh, was it cyclone? Cyclone bomb or weather something? cyclone or something? Yeah, yeah. So in Nevada, where uh, Studio West is. Uh, in 48 hours, accumulated four and a half inches of rain. I think in Sacramento, which is Studio East. Yes. Mm. Um, I think it was about almost six inches. It was like five and something. So I think it was about six. Um, so where I'm at, I'm kind of closer to the hills. So I think it was six and a half. I think is what we got up here. And it uh, rained all fucking day. All it was for, I mean, 24, 36, 48 hours straight, like downpour which we sure, haven't had if we have if we have any listeners out you know in the midwest or you know it's like yeah and <laughs> hey we we had up until a week before that we had 212 days without rain that was the sacramento had to, so the week before remember we got the, the rain on the sunday before yeah it was a little bit but it wasn't a lot so we had rain and it broke the 212 day dry spell there's no rain so basically we had sunshine so it was so then then we had we had a little bit of rain and then it was then it kind of dried up and then yeah and then that storm came and then it we hit. were getting the messages i don't know if you get the alerts from alexa well you have a google oh i don't but do they give was, you a notification like yo yeah the national weather umbrella. service yeah it says uh, you got a, a uh uh flood warning oh like, oh shit Sac- sacramento has had a couple floods the last flood I remember was, I feel like I was like eight. Oh, yeah. Like the levees broke. Not or 96 something or something. That would have put yeah, me at yeah, nine. El Nino. Yeah. El Nino. Yeah. The levee breaks. Led Zeppelin. It, it was such a big event. Led Zeppelin wrote a song about it. When the levee breaks. <laughs> about the 96 Sacramento levee flood. <laughs> um, so, how'd you hang with the, with the, we, with the store? Well, I knew, we knew it was coming, so uh, we did okay, but it was kind of like, 
It's movie night, kids. It's movie day. Rainy day equals movies. 24-7. Oh. So we, we built a little... Uh, we took all the couch cushions off, and we made that a little floor couch movie theater situation. Blankets, popcorn, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was nice and chill for for me and my wife. We just, you know, hung out. It was nice. And then, uh, but about like three o'clock, got a little stir crazy. And we're like, all right, let's drive around. How does that ah. sound? So we all piled into the Tesla and uh, we drove through Starbucks, got some hot cocos, got a coffee. Nothing wrong with that. No. And we drove... Uh, well, you will appreciate this. We drove to a very um, hotbed for Pokemon Go activity, and okay. we parked it. We put uh, Tesla has a Disney Plus app, so we fired up Disney Plus in the car, <laughs> and my wife and I were playing Pokemon, and we we took over like eight gyms <laughs> in like an hour because just kept. Oh, and it's raining like hell, so no one's out there, so you're you're good. Yeah, so where the coins are raining down upon us um, here, but. Uh, on the side of our house, we did get a pretty gnarly uh, flood, little bit of flooding, like so it just turned into a big mud puddle. And then the kids with their brand new rain boots, can we go walk around there? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, uh, sure, as always. Don't yeah. go inside of it though. And then you know, I'm like getting the recycling and the garbage ready to go up for. Uh, the you know the garbage day yep. The yep. Up, yeah. and i look over and sure enough they're up to their knees and uh help they're stuck in so i had to go rescue oh, it's quicksand yeah she <laughs> my daughter was quicksand dad it's quicksand so i pulled them out they were f- dressed in like regular clothes from school oh. so then i took those off and they're like well can we just go in in our underwear and I was like, "You're gonna get hosed off after, but okay, go for it." And so they had a they had a time playing in the mud for. Like oh yeah, that's minutes. that's that's fine. I always allow it. <clears throat> I always, you know, I always do like, yeah, sure. And then it's like, yeah, you know, he's like, fell, you know, quote unquote, fell in, oh. you know, and he's like all muddy and shit. Yep. I'm like, fuck, yep. I'm gonna. Well, I mean, go for it. You know, it's fine. Have have fun. I'm yeah. gonna get my ass yelled at because. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a. Uh, it was a, yeah, I got, the, oh, dad, I fell. And somehow her whole shirt just, it's like she slid head first <laughs> in the mud. I, uh, I was, I was having a little garage shop day. I was running the machine. With the garage door closed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It was going. I had my mask on, you know, my That's little. That's good. Oh yeah. And my, my shop mask. I didn't do it one day and it was like, it's smokers long. You know, so I was oh, like, oh fuck. Dude, that stuff you can't mess around with that. No, All those like micro like sometimes particles. you can't see it. Like you don't even know. You're yep. like, oh, because I was just running real quick. I was just looking at it, and then, and then like I think Jeffrey had walked in. I was like, whoa, what's really smoky in here? And I was like, oh, oh shit. So yeah, I put oh. my mask on. Oh, your your CNC machine make is smoky. Well, like the because it has a it's like a basically like a router, so it'll burn the wood as it's going oh, through. Oh, right. Okay, that <clears> makes sense. So, and he, he'll say smoky too, and it, it'll be just the particles and yeah, <clears throat> like the uh, resin dust when I because I do my resin pores, it'll be that's when you can smell that. And I'm like, ooh, put my mask on. That's yeah, that's, that's not, bad. It's not a good. But one. I, I was running that. I was fighting my pool all day. It was <sighs> yeah. Did you? So what do you have to do? Do you have to drain that? Yeah. So there's a. I or do you just try to so run get, the like, filter a bunch? No, so I so I was running the so I have a pump, and I drop a pump in the pool, and I have to run out like a hose all the way out of the fucking street. Okay, so I so you're draining your pool it. essentially. Yeah, so I'm draining it, and then eventually, at one point, I just couldn't. You couldn't keep up with demand. Couldn't keep up, and then like the water, because we're a lower point too, so there's the houses above us that's running in. So oh, you're getting double double time. Okay, it was like halfway through the day, the pool turned green, right? Because it's just all the mud and stuff sliding oh. in. From everywhere else, I'm like fuck. <clears throat> so I kept trying to keep running the pump, and then it was like I was trying to run overnight because because then it started like <laughs> the lake started creeping towards the house. I was like, oh shit! So I was running it, and then like I was like, so I woke up. It was like midnight. 
Was it still going? Yeah, I was trying to run. I was just trying to get get a hold of it because there was no way. It was just raining. It was just, it wasn't stopping. So relentless. Twelve thirty, I come out. I, I, I hear like this. You know, so it's like run out there. It's like twelve thirty at night. I have my flashlight in my mouth. Like it's like <laughs> fucking Jurassic Park. And like <laughs> I'm like trying to like and like I see this geyser and I was like, what the hell? Well, the the tube had come off the. Oh no! And it's raining like hell. And it's midnight, and I'm trying to like put it back on. And like oh my! And I said, God. you know what? Fuck it. I just unplugged everything. It's yeah. like, fuck it. Whatever. 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 Whatever gonna happens happen. is going to happen. <laughs> wow. Fortunately, it was everything drained to the neighbor's yard. So fuck it. <laughs> just start sweeping it over to their, <laughs> yeah, their the side. Drip, the, lake, the lake caught a little estuary or whatever. It's a, or a stream. And Man, so these pumps are working double, triple. T- I mean, they're just constantly running. Yeah, you I couldn't get burn the fuck I mean, out of the motor. I was huh? doing fine for a while. And then when it was like, uh, remember mid- midway through the day, where it just started like dumping. Yeah, it was like a waterfall. And it, it wasn't like you know. Usually here you get like a short little little, little, Bert, little yeah. bit, and then it goes away a little bit. This one was just all. It was just running like a faucet was running, and it just as I was watching the pool fill up and the pump was running, I was like, oh well, that's what it is. Right, and it's like either you get a bigger pump, which probably costs who knows three hundred, four, five hundred dollars, or yeah. you just, or you, I guess you could have drained it earlier yeah it's it's kind of but... tough so i i get nervous because you drain it too much because you don't want the plaster to really be exposed oh. crack and stuff. so you try to play this game of like i think this is going to be here oh, you know and, okay. the, and it fills up so I just, i'd run, empty it again and it was just and it was and eventually it was just couldn't do it yeah i mean some people do but the problem is is like i don't want to empty it too much and then not because then it's like Right, and you have to you fill know, it up again. Yeah, it's yeah. like okay, I'm sure. And then you know, I'm sure the city of Folsom's like, hey, we're in a drought. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, that's a good point too. So I was just like, eh. and it's green from all the mud and stuff because I don't want to be swimming in that shit anyway. Yeah, no. So I just run the pump. It'll clean it up. It's just okay. Yes. So that's the same thing that uh, our mutual friend Joe he. He he bought this house a while ago, and I yes. I feel bad for the guy. He he got some sort of cursed lay on his house, <laughs> where it's like basically just attracts water. So he it's has below, it's below the street. If you know, if you walk, yeah. it's, you have to walk. Usually, you walk you down walk up the, a driveway. This yeah. one you walk down into the house. Yeah. So he anytime it anytime any rain of any sort of substance happens, Joe is got that pump out and he's, yeah, he's trying to he's save not, it. He's not sleeping. <laughs> no, poor guy. And uh I think this year he just he just knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, he had two pumps for him. Like, yeah, two pumps. So, man. And then okay. Well, luckily, yeah, we didn't have any anything like that happen, which is nice. Which is good. So, I'll take it. It wasn't. We survived the, the first. Well, I think it was at La Nina, right? That's what we got going on. This oh. Year. Okay. Little sister. Yep, yeah, little sister. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised Could I got help. that right. Could help with the with the drought. I think it should. Is is Folsom Lake all topped up now, or how much? <laughs> <laughs> we had a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, it probably got enough to cover the mining equipment back up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That would that would be that would be. Uh, I, I'm curious how much. I don't. Do you think it brought us out of the drought? Technically speaking, no, because I saw what what it was like a year ago and a year before that. And Not even close. We, we, we ain't there yet. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. And the problem, I think, is, it helps like saturate the ground though, like for future rains, so it's not so parched. Yeah. Because then, because they want that runoff, they kind of want it into the streams, and that's how you know that's oh, how the, okay. Uh, reserves fill up but if the ground is parched it'll soak it up first so now they're hoping that it soaks the ground and kind of yeah and then going. great for the fires that we're having too oh yeah which uh, <laughs> we, we needed this um and then also good for the the ski lodges and all the ski stuff up in tahoe dumping up there feet feet of snow multiple feet coming down up there <clears throat> so good good yeah <laughs> I was, you know, it's fine. When it's all done, it's fine. It was just <laughs> all at once. It was. It's a, a it's a little, yeah. Before. It's like can we space this out over a week instead of having it all fucking Peter North one and day. Like yeah. one wit in one day. <laughs> Peter. 
one thing that I find oddly satisfying is this weather storm is hitting us and it's still out in the middle of the Pacific. Peter North. <laughs> pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Here comes a hot here comes some hot ropes. Um I I don't know why I enjoy doing this so much, but whenever I see a big blockage at a drain, I love clearing the leaves and the sticks to let the water rush into the drain. I don't know why I like that so much, but I was yeah, kind of I walking around it. the neighborhood. <laughs> just going it's like around, you're like, a hero. Yeah, like kicking kicking leaves out. I wasn't I wasn't trying to do too much work, mind you. I was just one simply moving time. with my feet. Yeah. One, like, one like drain at a time. Clearing it one drain at <laughs> a time like, okay. Cool cuz I don't, you know, I don't want uh I don't want any backups happening at my neck of the woods. In now, my house. now, when I was a kid, we used to try to build those little dams, you know. Yeah, see how far you can divert the water. Yep, yeah. Yeah, we have, um, I haven't cleaned my gutters out. Uh, let's see, we've been here, this is going on year six. I've cleaned my gutter out one time. Mostly uh, me too. because I don't have There's a ladder. Just the lower range, because I have a two-story, so the, oh. whatever's on the top, <laughs> it is what it is. Well, when <laughs> I was doing it, and I, I don't know if this is a problem, I don't, do this that often but our roof the shingles have that like basically like little rocks on it you know it has like it's textured okay yeah yeah. and that has washed all down into the gutter so now there's like mud and then it has all these little rocks and then all the Mm -hmm. so the gutters were like full of like dirt so when i cleaned them out i had to like scoop in my hands and like throw it it was horrible yeah, it's been gross. But uh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't have any issues with the gutters being because then the water would just be pouring over top the gutter. It wouldn't go down the drain, right? That was the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the problem. So then, usually mine was always like the block would be somewhere inside of the drainage pipe. I'm like, fuck. Oh, the downspout. <laughs> yeah, the downspout. Like, oh fuck. man, it's like somewhere in the middle. And it's like. You gotta run, like, you gotta run a down snake. Down I'm like, oh. oh fuck it. I might just take it off and run a rain chain or something. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes are very useful. The only reason I really got one is because I mean, as you know, I Toilet. tend to have some heavy 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 dumps, apparently. <laughs> so you need a snake to really get in there. Yeah, sometimes it break up those. Put a strain on the uh, sewer system. Yeah. Septic system. For sure. There was a time uh well, come to find out, we, we had a, a few uh, clogs here that was beyond the snake's capabilities. Oh, man. So we had, a call the, Ritter? we had to call the landlord up who they have their own person they called out. Come to find out, our pipes are like a little bit like back slanting very ah. ever so slightly. So any sort of, they're very fickle is what it sounds like. It's like, you know, if you were to make a sewage pipe you would probably i would think to have it at least at a you know 20 degree angle so the yeah, all slam, the duties yeah, would so f- slide down it slide on down yeah Who's we had pet- one blockage my first house it's because the tree roots got into the uh oh that'll fuck shit up yeah do you have a crawl space or Un- for a under sewer? your house oh uh no do not i think we have one and people are like oh my crawl space got flooded i'm like I'm not totally sure if I have one, and I, I'm not fucking going under there no, with the no. raccoons and skunks. Are you fucking out of raccoons your mind? Got rats? No way. <laughs> what? No way. What do I need I to could, be doing that, down there? <clears throat> as, as, as I'm sure the listeners know, mice and rats are my no. my number one no no. <laughs> I can't I can't do this. <clears throat> Dude, what am I supposed to get in there on my hands and knees like I'm fucking army crawling through like a trench? Like a mil, like an army trench in Vietnam <laughs> with a fucking Bowie knife in my teeth, or or like, a, like Andy Rambo. and Shawshank Redemption, yeah. Where he's like shot you, he's like walking <laughs> through the sewer. <laughs> what am I supposed to do under my house? <laughs> no, there's shit. I don't, I don't, I don't need to go under there. My my luck is I always figure like my luck would be like you know people that find like you know duffel bag for the money. I'd probably open up and find like a fucking dead body. The body. Call the police. <laughs> like, damn it. I'd be worried that, um, cause the little hatch to get into this thing is, you know, 24 inches by 24 or, you know, it's, it's, oh, yeah, a, no. it's not super wide. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you're wearing, uh, anything over a 40 inch waist, you're probably going to have a hard time getting yeah, in. You're going to have to call for a, uh, some help, yeah. some assistance. 
I don't think Joe's getting in his. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> I and, think he's uh, I'm worried that it's going to get um, like the door's going to shut on me and then I'll be trapped under there. That that's a worry. Oh, man, dead body. Then I would be the dead body for the next people. to. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, no, we don't have that. We just have it in the attic for us. Oh yeah. We have a little, uh, yeah, I haven't been up in our attic either. I've been up a couple of times. That's where my furnace and stuff is up there. Oh, nice. I'm still on guard. Any kind of rat, right? <laughs> I mean, we had a couple run-ins back in our youth where we were looking for that mouse in the house and it Oh, that's right. It ran across us when we were like on our hands and knees looking for it. Looking for it, yeah, because we can hear it. <laughs> like, what is that? There's like a noise. What's that scratching? Yeah, it's a scratching noise. Like, ah! Oh, my God. Two 16 <laughs> year old boys, probably high pitched screams that you've ever. Oh, heard. yeah. It touched me. Oh, mercy. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Cerny, it has been a few weeks and we have not had an update on your refrigerator. Situation. Oh no, I forgot. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be a good one then. Yes. So all the bitching and pissing him on it. So the guy comes out and he, and he comes in and you he can hear the, I mean, it, it was loud. Remember, I shouldn't say that Marco Polo yes. was pretty loud, right? Uh, some com- and he's like, oh. I'm not an expert, but I would just say a compressor issue. It felt yeah, like there's some compressor, compressor thing. That's, a, that was, that's what I thought. So he comes out and he goes, oh, that's your fridge? I said, yeah. He's like, hmm. So he opens the door and he's like looking around. And he goes, huh. And he goes, okay. He takes this little knife out of his pocket and he opens the drawer where we have, like, because, you know, there's two drawers in the front, like with the, with the cheese oh, and yes. the deli stuff. Is, yeah. He pulls it open and he takes the knife and he sticks it behind the screen. And he pops it open. He goes, I bet you there's water in here. And I was like, oh, fuck. Because he's like, look, he like, he's, I can see him looking around. He goes, kids usually spill and they don't clean it up. And it gets behind the screen and now it's shorting the thing. And he pulls it up and the thing is full of fucking water. I was like, fuck. <laughs> now, do your kids come around you? Because, you know, when people come into your house, it's like a whole fucking production for kids. And they're like, they, they're hiding around or, you know, maybe not your kids are a little bit older, but Jeffrey, I would think maybe they're like, yeah, he was them. like, it's almost like, you know, like almost like the dogs were like, they're keeping an eye on him, but they're not like yes. interacting with him. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. But I was like, <sighs> fuck. So he sucks it up yeah, and he unplugs the screen and boom, everything comes right back on lights. Everything comes back on. Wow. I was like, I was like what's the noise? He says, well, the water is shorting this disc, this circuit breaker out, which is short, which is now nothing's communicating, right? So now you have frost on your fan. So just defrost it. So leave it unplugged for a little bit. Yeah, he said, let it go. And he says, there's actually, he's like, he punched a button. He goes, yeah, you have a little heater. Make sure. So we'll just heat it since there's nothing in the freezer anyways. Let's pull it all out. You can heat your freezer? He says there's a little heating spot. So if it gets too cold for frost, it'll heat. And it'll so it won't frost over. Said, okay. Wow. Melted it. Everything came back on. He said, now the drawer, you have your little settings here where it has soda mode and deli meat mode. And okay. he's like, so that doesn't work anymore. I was like, okay. He's like, so you're gonna have to replace the drawer. I was like, well, if you want deli I meat said, mode. is it gonna keep the temperature of the fridge? He says, Yeah. Okay. He's like, but it's not going to be on soda mode. Or I said, I never even used it. I didn't even know we had that. Okay. I, I just, <laughs> he just starts laughing. He's like, what? I said, I never even actually looked at the, that screen. I just threw shit in there, you know, like applesauce and stuff. It's always the lower stuff so the kids can grab. That's what we got it. You know, yeah. it's like, so he's like, oh, I said, so it'll act just like everything else, like it always has. So, I, so I've never touched a button on that thing. He's like, yeah. Okay. He's like, okay. So if you, I have to tell you, and he's like, so it had been like twelve hundred dollars just to replace the drawer. I said, the fridge was like three grand. I said, is this a third of the fucking fridge, or it's just you know, yeah. it's a drawer. He said, yeah. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to replace that. He's yeah. like, I don't blame you. <laughs> Interesting. 
Well, it so was, it only cost you a hundred bucks to get it fixed. Hundred bucks, hundred twenty-five bucks. I was like, all right, that's nice. Fine. When he popped up in the thing, I saw the water. I was like, no. He knew this right away. Me. How yeah, many fucking knew. times I mean, has he seen that? Do you think? Probably I don't twenty. Know. I mean, I said, now obviously this isn't you, you're just a repair guy. I said design flaw. I'm calling it design flaw because oh. it's right underneath where the water is. He said, yeah, it is, it is. He said, but. Normally, with we see the house with kids because kids spill and they don't clean yeah. it up and just sits there and eventually seeps in and then builds up to the electrical panel and it and it, and it shorted it. I said, "No, nah, well, you well, got me." <laughs> hey, you touche. You, you came out unscathed um, on that, relatively unscathed, I would say. That's yeah. That's I was win. I was actually happy with. It. I was like, "All right, sweet. That's fine. that's a good outcome." I'll take the hundred twenty dollars five bucks off the chin and yeah, call a square. Why, why with the? Why couldn't they just be? Why couldn't it be a hundred? Why does that have to be twenty five? I don't, I don't know. know. So why do you got to make it a little bit, a little bit tougher on you? Well, Cerny, I'm happy that your fridge is now. So it's back to fridging. Back to normal. Back to the lights come on, water comes on, and <clears throat> making ice. Freezers working properly. Everything's good. It's quiet as mouse. That's great. Now I don't get the. I'm I'm with you. I don't get the cheese drawer or the vegetable drawer, the crisper. I'm never one to really play by these rules that the fridge lays out for me. He was me. like, you could set, he was like telling me all sorts of stuff you could set. I was like, well, if I have two years, I've yet to use that. So I'm not going to pay to have it now. Fuck it. Leave it alone. I, I don't, other than the freezer and the fridge, I understand that yeah. those two temperature things. Is there really that much difference in meat mode? No, it was, like, it was like it's like or soda mode or two whatever. degrees or something. It was all the snacks that we always put, like the string cheese and the okay. applesauce and the, the grab and go yogurts. Kind of you know, yeah. for the for for Jeffrey, especially because when we first got, it, he was a little smaller. Yeah, so he could reach it. You know, that was his spots, and it kind of just stayed that way. Had a habit, but yeah, that's where he, that's where we have like his little lunch. He has these little snack packs and stuff he takes for lunch. Okay, so we put those in there. <clears throat> Actually, I do keep my my little guacamole, so I like to oh. have a little. Uh, Yes. The little Costco, uh, the Kirkland guacamoles. Those are good. So I, I usually get, so I have those in there too. Those are from, I usually have those with, um, you know, those bagel chips. <sighs> the but bagel the, chips are so dangerous. Everything bagel chips are. Yes. Those are, so I actually <laughs> just got the bagel chips at Costco the other day. And it's a Costco size pack. Yep. And I'm not proud to admit this, but it didn't last the weekend. It was, <laughs> I mean, I put a hurting on that thing. And we had, the, we had a little are party. They, are they the everything ones? Yes. Oh, yeah. Those are, I had those. Oh. I dip them in the guacamole, just a little everything yep. chips of guacamole. A little hummus for that's me. That's like my, that's my, oh, I have hummus too. So I have the hummus pack and the guacamole pack. So nice. I mix up. It's like usually like my breakfast. A little, little, mm, little pita or egg. those uh, pretzel chips. And the guacamole yeah, or hummus. Those are good. Those are good. And then I like at the end when you have all the the, the seasoning that's fallen off and it's adding the salt, it's a little bonus treat for yourself. A little, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> sprinkle that on the old gullet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'll take that for sure. For sure. <sighs> okay, so you got your fridge problems all solved. All squared that's away. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Any other uh, any other appliances uh, acting up on you? No, so far not so yet. good. Knock out wood. Okay, that knocked out wood right there. There we go. There we go. Now, you know, we opened the last few episodes with a good old fashioned "fuck the Dodgers." Right. So, still fuck the Dodgers. St- Dodgers still fuck them. And uh, we were happy to see the World Series is underway as we speak. Uh, but we were happy. It is, to- and it's Dodgerless. <sighs> That's what we were most happy about. Now, when when the when Justin Turner came out came up lame with his leg, the Dodgers are already down Kershaw, who he has some sort of ailment that come to October he uh, he gets a little squirrely, gets very suspect. Yeah, he is. Which is um, so basically everyone jumped on Bellinger and and. Scherzer's back to try to ride that thing as long as they could, and the Braves put him away. Yeah, and I like the the trash talkers because you know they they had the 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 Dodgers excuse like we didn't have Kershaw or yeah uh, fucking Muncy or whatever it was. So it was like they didn't have Acuna or Soler or like they went through the list like it was tit for tat. It was even. So yeah, I mean 
everyone you got bested. You got bested, and they had you know thirty less wins than you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was good, and it makes the it takes a lot of the sting off the Giants' loss. Yeah, because now the Giants are still division champions, and the Dodgers, the Dodgers are nothing. Yeah, and they, you know, that trade they got for Scherzer and Turner, I mean, they hemorrhaged huge oh, talent. They're free agent. They are going to have to get a cashier's check for the, the amount of money they're going to have to be writing because they're trying yeah. to re-sign all those people. It's a shitload of fucking dollars. Well, I, like, I already saw, like, I saw this thing. It was like, don't count on uh, Seager coming back. Don't count. I think Trey Turner said he ain't, he don't even want to play on the West Coast. Wow. So, I mean, maybe uh, Scherzer, but who knows? Who knows? I could see, like, the Yankees dropping some. I don't know. That would be too crazy. <laughs> Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> they signed They signed Aaron Boone to a three-year extension. Yeah, what was – Holy shit. That guy's that guy terrible. <laughs> they had nothing but great things to say about him. On how well he, yeah, until he, until they missed the playoffs or something like that next year, and then you know that's, oh, that's the crucifying. thing. That's the thing I don't get. Like he hasn't done great as a manager, so you give him a three year extension. Why don't you just give him a one? Just give him one year. Yeah, because here's what's gonna happen. He he fucks it up next year, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna they're gonna fire his ass, but they're gonna be on the hook for for two more years. <sighs> like I don't get that. You know that I don't that, know. Unless you like, the only way I can see, <laughs> I can see them doing that is like, oh, we'll give you a three year extension, but then like save some emails like they did like John Gruden and then like, <laughs> leak it to the press, cancel, <laughs> cancel his ass. He starts sucking next year, so you just leak some fucking crazy thing. They're like, oh, do you well, know- maybe just maybe just hack his email, just start sending out some emails <laughs> coming yeah. from Aaron Boone. What hey, the hell's going on? Hey Gruden, what's the email <laughs> that waiters? The waitress at Hooters. What's the Hooters guy's name? See if I can get a free calendar. <laughs> Want a free calendar? Oh uh, shit! Yes, man. Hooters quickly. When do you remember when? I feel like there was a a one like one day we went in and it just clicked and we're like this. Why are we keep coming here? <laughs> yeah, it was. Like, it was. It, it was. Like, was it an event or was it? I think a it was, moment of clarity. There, what do you think it was? It was a moment of clarity. Remember, it was. I swear, it was the time we went to the Natomas Hooters. Mm-hmm. Remember, and the waitress like wouldn't. We saw our food. Remember, we saw our food, but she was trying to hula hoop. Yes. And pour beer for these guys in suits because I'm sure they right. sure shot a bigger, bigger ticket. Bigger tip, yeah. But it was like sitting there and then like the food was cold. And then remember we were trying to leave. Yeah. And we, we had to like get the manager to get, get us a check. Yeah. And remember he was kind of a dick about it too. He's like, okay, here's your check. Like we've been waiting, we've been asking. And right. She was still over there like trying to like pour another pitcher for these dudes. It was like, and it wasn't like, we weren't. It's not like we were waiting like five minutes. We were like, yeah, it was like thirty-five 10, minutes yeah, in. Like, we want to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then I do remember specifically too. We would go there a lot before we were twenty-one, and then I think after twenty-one because I would have been, and was I was living in San Francisco, so we must have mm-hmm. came back and we're like, yeah, let's run it back to Hooters like the good old days. Yeah, yeah. And then we, we went like, there we and we were like, days. yeah, let's get a beer, and they're like eight dollars for a pint, and we're like, what? It was like a pint of like Bud, Bud Light, Light. Or and we're like, okay. Light. We're like, okay. And then the food wasn't that good, and the beer was expensive, and we're like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, this place isn't that cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as cool as we thought it was. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm surprised. I don't. How long? How much longer do you think Hooters has as a, an establishment before it's 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 lost? It's it's lost. I, th- it. I mean, I think it has. I'm, I, I don't. No, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know anyone in. You know, I I can see. Yeah, in Florida, Hooters will, yeah, will yeah. live long and a long yeah, and healthy homeland. life in Florida, in yeah. Tallahassee. Um, but everywhere else, 
That's sort of, you know, it just feels a little bit out of touch. I mean, they have like, what's that, what's that other restaurant? I can't remember. Twin Peaks Twin or something Peaks. like that? Have you ever been to one of those? No. I've been there uh, for a bachelor party. Okay. Duh. Uh, we actually went to Scottsdale, Arizona for some spring training and they had a Twin Peaks. I will say I like the uniforms better because they're like khaki shorts with like a flannel, but the flannel's like tied up. Oh, know? okay, okay. Uh, and they have a shot ski. So they have like a, an actual ski. They have an actual ski and it has like eight shot glasses and you just get up there with whoever and it's one, two, three, and everyone has to do it at once because it's all in the ski. Oh man. So uh, coordination you yeah. with, your, with your with your butts. You better you better. <laughs> I think I don't know if it's hands behind the back and you probably just let the the waitresses uh tip it back or, uh, okay, or, or yeah. waiters or whatever. Um but yeah, again, the menu wasn't blown away. It's not like a Michelin. It's not a Michelin star restaurant or anything. Um, I don't even know if it's on the. Probably not even on Yelp. It's like three stars on Yelp. Probably. I know there's one actually in Sacramento. I couldn't. Oh really? I couldn't tell you if there's a good in my head. Where is that or anything like that? I have no idea. Interesting. I probably would feel like a creep if I went now. Yeah, you know what? Like when we were like you know, nineteen. It seemed fine. Cause right, because like, oh, they're but... the same age. Yeah, and then we always made fun of, like, the remember the creepy old guys that would sit there? And that would be us now. If we yeah, did. that would be us. <laughs> we would be the creepy old guys. That would be us, for sure. For sure. <clears throat> yeah. And, I mean, I don't even eat meat. So Hooters is not even, you know. I would. Anyway. I make, uh, I make, some, so I make some killer wings, so. Yeah, you can make it better yourself, a little Joshua I use, Weisman. Oh, yeah, I use Joshua Weisman recipes. Uh, speaking of which, I did a few new Joshua Weisman recipes. The rain, it's cool. I'm like, got to turn the, get the oven. You get a little baking going. The little baking? He eats yeah. the house, too? He eats the house little... up. Um, Sometimes I do a little baked baking. Go out in the garage, smoke a little smoke. <laughs> no, twice baked. Twice <laughs> baked. Twice baked, chip. twice baked baking. Come inside. Got to throw on some like Almond Brothers or something. <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> just set, set a nice little vibe. I made the uh, Joshua Wiseman garlic bread. Mm-hmm. And I put it together. And I got to tell you, <clears throat> I even saved a little bit. There was like a little mini jar left of the butter mixture yep. left i just have it in my fridge i'm like i don't know when i'm gonna use this but it's gonna some little thing is gonna get the extra little chef's yeah. kiss on it but the garlic <laughs> bread was delightful the garlic bread was delightful papa kiss papa kiss um and then i also made the the bagel bread i think i sent you that one that was a little yeah bit that, ago, the that bagel one looked bread. good very look easy good. to do Okay, I, I, I got to do that one. That's the one I wanted to do. I didn't know we had a bread pan, and then I was oh quickly corrected because we have several. <sighs> yeah, it didn't say bread pan on the side of it. <laughs> I don't know. So the the positions in the uh, kitchen, things get switched up a lot. So I stopped keeping track. Oh, the the sheet pans used to be under the oven, and yeah, now they're and in the closet. In here, okay. and it's like, and I get confused. So, why does that happen? Your wife just gets a gets a thing, and she just cleans it out and thinks it's going to be better it. over somewhere else. And, and after a while, I get confused, and I'm like, you know what? Just I just usually just shout it out. Where is the? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good. Or it's like, just leave me my one. I have like two pans and I'm like, as long as I have access and readily, yeah. these are readily available, I'll be fine for cooking dinner. So actually, I, so now I have a, I have a spot underneath the window. Oh, with the book, where the book is at and everything else. So I have a section because oh. I have my, I have a frying spider and stuff like that where you get stuff out of the fryer. You have a fryer? Now I have a big deep pot. I put the oil. Oh, in, but okay. When yeah. you're frying something, I, I try to. I gotta fish it out with the spider. Yeah, I need to get me one of those spiders. I think. Rayleigh's. It was like, oh, nine bucks. Okay. It was, you know, Not some. It was, it I thought was it was great. a, you know, a crate and barrel. Uh, so did I. And, but I, I happened to be walking in Rayleigh's one day. I was like, oh, oh, oh I need that. <laughs> Sweet. I will say. I mean, I, I really enjoy cooking, and we are cooking four to seven days a week here. So it. You know, it happens. 
that's happening yeah. here. The little like odds and ends, single use little tools, like oh, this is great for this one thing. Those are great, but they fucking clutter the fuck out of your drawers, and yeah. then you can't open them. And then I'm like, why is this here? I haven't used this in however long. But, but then if you, you got rid it, of it, yeah, you would need it. Yeah. Really. So there needs to be like a bullpen for <laughs> like kitchen appliances. Yeah, there you go. There needs to be the bullpen somewhere. The bullpen. Yeah. <clears throat> and you have one of those cool uh, knife uh, magnet giant strips, magnet yeah. strips. Those are all the rage. It, I, you know, and it, it works way better than that because I was like, oh, well, I'm kind of nervous about that. I'm going to knock it off. It's going to take my fucking toe off. Yeah. But the magnet is pretty strong. You have to actually pull it off. You got to really like yank down yeah. on it or something. Yeah. It's, it's, good, it's got some good, good okay. uh, holding power or something. All right. Good. And do you, one thing I need to be, be better on is sharpening. Are you, do you sharpen your own stuff or do you just like drop it off at Ace Hardware and pick it so up? So I got the hours? knife sharpener, you know, the one you attach to your counter and you, it has like the different grits and you can slide it on. So yeah, I, I sharpen. Oh, wow. Do you, how often are you sharpening? Uh, not as often as I should. Yeah. When am I cutting? Usually it's like when, when I'm cutting, I'm like, oh, this isn't cutting. It's, it's You're like, like sawing a tomato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, fuck. <laughs> Well, I looked at our, I mean, we got our knives, very nice knife set, but for our wedding. And, you know, that, that's, a, that's a bit, that's a couple of days ago. <laughs> a few years a ago. A decade plus. <laughs> I'm like looking at the knives. It's like, it's not a blade. You could see like chips in it and shit. I'm like, I, is this, I think this shouldn't be here, but this wasn't a serrated, <laughs> this wasn't a serrated tip when I, when I got this when we were married. But, okay, Cerny, last we need a Cerny, and we're going to do a Cerny prediction. We're going to chip prediction the the 2021 World Series. Yeah, the Braves versus the Houston Astros. Um, it is the top of the seventh at time of recording. Braves are out five to one in the top seven. How do you see this series ending? I see the Braves winning it. Okay, I'm on board. It's in six. And six. Okay, you think the yeah. Braves split at home with the Astros? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think winning two in Houston. Um, that's quite. That's a that's a big ask. And it's Charlie a, Morton's down too. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, it is. That is gonna hurt. No, that's okay. That's the only question. I, but, I like that Braves. I'm going to do that too. Braves and six. Yeah. Although six is, I like. I would. I prefer five though. <laughs> I prefer, five is preferred. Yeah, you know, I just don't. I mean, I'm all for Dusty Baker, obviously with Giants. Yeah, but and uh, you, you know what's going to happen if if the fucking Astros win, they're going to be like, "See, he told you we yeah. could do it." We, you know, they're going to try to you know make it their mission and rub it in your fucking face that they didn't cheat or some shit. Yeah, and I mean the Astros. I'm still a little suspect this season. They're, I'm not. The I'm not. I, I saw the thing, and they that, there's, there's people that said there's no fucking way the MLB is all over their ass. Oh, they're all over them. Through. Yeah, they're no. Okay. Way. And they said it'd be stupid. And they said, and and you got Dusty Baker. You know, that's, that's like true. the king of old school. He's about as clean as it's, as it's gonna get. That's true. He's not gonna go. Uh, AJ Hinch and turn a blind eye. He'll tell you to turn that shit off and get in the fucking box. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he's an old, he's an old man. That Dusty Baker now. I swear. I think so. When Hank Aaron hit his, you know, his record breaking home run. Yeah, I think he is on fucking. He's on deck. I swear to God, he was on deck when he hit. The, I think they're they were good friends. Yeah, I think he was he was on deck when when Hank Aaron broke the record. So he's probably one of those like no, just get in there, fucking hit the ball. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think so. I think, and I think people like you know, like that, whatever that idiot's name was for uh, Chicago, that no name reliever was oh, like, yeah. oh, well, no, they, well, they got a, there's some sketchy stuff going on. I was yeah, like, Dusty Baker's like, please, pretty, pretty sure you scored more home than you did on the road. I was like, oh, mm. <laughs> oh he's right. He scored nothing on the road, and then you go home, he scores six. Mm, I mean, the 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 Astros bats can come alive, which has me. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, I mean they could blow Altuve has always been good, and Correa and Bregman. I mean, they've they're always been good. Yeah. So I don't. I mean, this year, you know, it's always like the you know, uh, uh, remember uh, 
Taco Bell got in trouble for having sawdust in their meat. Yes. Way or oat, oatmeal, like oats. Yeah, oats, something weird. Yeah. And then it was like uh, the E. coli at the Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah. And they were like, I'm not eating there. I was like, I this remember my dad going, time to eat. Now's the time because they got to correct their shit. <laughs> They're going to have tip Absolutely. Top They're going to be at the top of their game, at the top of their game, which we're hoping the Braves are as they hopefully – Fingers crossed, defeat the Houston yeah. Astros in a certain amount of games. Five preferred by Chip, willing to accept CERN's six call. I'm, I'm willing to accept. I'm willing to accept seven if it's that's what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true as well. And uh, also today we have news that Pfizer has been approved for five to 12-year-old the kids. Ooh, so I saw it was going to the panel. Is it approved? Get the booster. Get your booster. If you got little kids, five to 12, I know I have one. I have That's one too. Two, it's a two shot though. That could be it's all right. I might go in, may try to do a booster and he gets a, well, I don't know how he's going to get his actually. Sorry. Cause I think they're doing it at the school and or pediatrician, right? Yeah. It's a two kids have to get two shot though. Yeah, I know. But like maybe oh. I was thinking like maybe the first one, like to break the ice. Cause the shot itself, I didn't find it to be painful. No, it's the after party. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just thinking like, because, you know, kids, they're going to build up in their head like they're going to get shot in the fucking chest, you know. Yeah. Like yes. it's going like to be some sort of grandiose like pain. I want to just be there like, hey, all right, you know, you get one and, and I'll get one. We did that last year with the flu it. shot. So I might go, maybe I'll get a top, maybe I'll get my flu shot and then uh, I'll get my booster at some point. Ooh, two for one. I'm thinking about, I might do that too, actually. Why not? Just give me double jabs, man. I'll take all the jabs. Yeah, go for it. Bring it on. Mix it up. Mix what? it up. Give yeah. me a Johnson Johnson while we're at it. Just throw, <laughs> throw a J and J in the leg. <laughs> See what happens. Could you imagine having your your leg be fucking sore like that? Oh, oh you'd be hobbling around like a whiny bitch. <clears throat> yeah, I know. <laughs> Who can fucking walk? I I told you I was disappointed on my second one. I was ready to. I had my message pretty much ready to go in the work slack. Just be like. Got my second vaccine shot. I'm out of pocket. Uh, I, oh yeah, oh, we got a couple of those. The guys did that. Yeah, I. Even this uh, guy got his booster. He's like, uh, I, I'm. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm not feeling. Uh, I'm, this has knocked me out. Yeah. Like, hmm? Well, imagine oh. what the real deal would have fucking done to you. <laughs> this guy said he had it, and he's like, the shots are way worse. What? I know. I was like, whatever. what bullshit? Let me show yeah, me your antibodies <laughs> test, that fucker. <laughs> I know. Crazy fuck. <laughs> and he's like, this guy's like, I think he's got to be like 60 years old. So I was oh, just God. like, no, no. I'm foul. Call him foul. Yeah, I'm throwing a challenge flag on that one for sure. <laughs> Is sure. it you had the sniffles and you think you had it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would know. I was coughing a few weeks ago. It's, it's got to be it. You know, I hear that shit. Yeah. I, had a, I was feeling a little, a little clammy. A little clammy. I think clammy. I must have had the, must have had the Rona. <laughs> Must have got it. Must have got it. But, uh, yeah, get that booster. Five to 12. Get them on that. Have, a, have yourself a, a worry-free holiday season. Sign, yeah. Sign me that's up. What, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Sign me up. Well, sign me up. this week in Cerny, next week is uh, time to put up the decorations for Christmas time. <laughs> you put up the tree i'm gonna put the tree up november is here before you know it oh that's right you did it's november. time it's time and you you haven't gotten any uh blowback from your halloween uh no you know what i had a lot of followers that followed me to the promised land of doing it before the 15th you didn't lead them astray did not lead them astray we, we were we were we were we had solidarity great and no letters no complaints. That's awesome. We did have one neighbor to wait till the 15th. So they are clearly the mole. <laughs> <laughs> just pour, just spell out mole and bleach on their yard. <laughs> salt, salt water. Salt, spray mole. We know <laughs> you're the mole. You're the mole. Well, get jabbed up, people. You know, keep doing all the stuff they tell you, your mask and all that stuff. Cerny's waiting for it. I'm going to... I wait for every time. So just, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 
you know, keep all washed up everywhere. Your <laughs> nether visions, all sorts of stuff like that. And until next time, I'm Chip. I'm sorry. Cheers.